Welcome back to Daybreak this morning. Tomorrow we've been talking about is October, which kicks off a month dedicated to breast cancer awareness and research, which is why you guys are joining us this morning. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks, thanks. for thanks for coming in bright thanks and early. For having us. Yeah. <laughs> so we have Jordan Norcross here, who's the community development director for the American Cancer Society here. And you brought with you one of your portraits of hope, Carmelita Jetter. So good morning. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what makes you a portrait of hope? Good morning. Well, um, my name is Carmelita Jetter, born and raised in Los Angeles, California, but I am now the associate head coach here at Missouri State University. Um, Portraits of Hope is, you know, I lost my aunt to breast cancer in 2012. She was the reason why I competed. She was the reason why I made it to the Olympics, and I competed in pink spikes because of her. So I figured I'd always want to keep her name alive. I always want to keep her spirit alive, and that's why I'm a part of the American Cancer Society. And that's who you're honoring right here. Yes, my aunt Brenda Washington. I, I that. think that's so important too because the caregivers go through just as much pain and stress as as those with the disease so you were her caregiver I wasn't her caregiver but um, she was my aunt mm -hmm. I lit I bought my first house five houses down from her wow. so that just lets you know how close we were and so it was it was a hard hit right. for our family and it just I hate to say that you don't really get involved as much until it hits home unfortunately mm -hmm. right. and when it hit home it hit extremely hard and now I just want to educate people I want to educate more women um, I want to get women to go out and get tested and not be afraid because if you can detect it early we can we can help fight it but yes. if you wait too late then we have a problem and yeah. Carmelita you are such an inspiration yourself because you are a multi Olympic medalist you're a gold medalist you have one of each right yes I do <laughs> yeah. yeah not no big deal or anything so uh, Jordan I want you to talk a little bit about the walk that we have coming up in October Elisa and I will be emceeing which we are so honored to do um, but you can just sprint the whole thing and we'll just we'll just follow you <laughs> yeah so making strides this is October 19th um, it is the largest breast cancer walk here in southwest Missouri um, there'll be over 3,000 participants um, the coolest thing I've ever seen, downtown will turn pink. Um, we're right at Hammonds Field where the Cardinals play, just right out on the plaza, and we'll have live music prior to the walk. Um, the registration will start at 9, with the walk actually beginning at, er, registration will start at 8, with the walk beginning at 9. Mm -hmm. um, very easy. Um, we do ask people to sign up prior to the walk. You just go to makingstrideswalk.org um, slash SWMO. Um, takes two minutes to sign up. Um, get your family, your friends involved. Um, the more money that we raise, the better um, research that we'll be able to find with that money. Um, so it takes donors or donors donations to be able to help find these cures. And that, that does that stay local here? And and you know, little little amounts can make a big difference too, right? Yeah, 10, so, 15, 20 bucks. So the donations, uh, the big portion is it goes to research. Mm -hmm. um, the American Cancer Society is the largest researcher outside of the U.S. government. Um, we also do have locally a wig program where women that are going through treatments, um, they're able to stop in um, once a year and get a free wig, as well as we have Road to Recovery, which is a ride share program mm -hmm. um, where we actually take the patients to the doctor's oh, wow. appointments. Um, that's one of the big needs that the doctors here see, um, that some people aren't able to go to their appointments, and so we don't want them to miss their treatments, um, that we're actually able to take them there, um, as well as our National Cancer Information Center, where if you have any questions, any time of the day, 24-7, you're able to call in and talk to somebody. And, to be able to get some help. I think I want to mention if you aren't able to run in the race, please just donate. Mm -hmm. You know, you yeah. can always give a little. And like you said, every little bit counts. I tell people all the time, when you go to the grocery store and let's say you want to buy some candy or gum and you're just grabbing coins out of the car. The leftover it, change. It all <laughs> adds <laughs> up. It all adds up. So yeah. don't think your $5 or your $15 won't help because mm -hmm. when we put it all together in the pot, it adds up. That's a great point. I also want to throw up the number really quick to call. Get a hold of Jordan if you have questions about joining a team or how to donate. Join our Color 10 team. We have Daybreak and 10 up next.